Hey guys, welcome back to Ultima Beauty. Today I'm viewing another fall trend for you, which is smoky eyes. Smoky eyes are pretty much a trend any time of year, and most fall trends involve some form of a smoky eye. So this is pretty straightforward, your typical smoky eye. Sort of a worn in, slept in uh, eyeshadow eyeliner look. Uh, really sort of grunge. My bangs kind of match because they need to be cut. It's a really easy look to create because it doesn't need to be perfect, and if it's not messy and imperfect, you're doing it wrong. So it's a lot of fun. It's a smoky eye is just such a classic. So as long as you have uh, really just a black eyeliner, a blending brush, you can create a smoky eye right now. You don't need uh, all the additional products that I used. Um, some black eyeshadow helps, but it kind of depends what kind of smoky eye you want. So now you can watch my fall trend, smoky eye, worn in, slept in, eyeshadow look. Enjoy. Start things off with a crayon eye pencil, this one's from Urban Decay, and start to run it just along your upper lash line. Get a nice inky black line, and don't worry about being too clean because you're going to smudge this out in just a little bit. So just coloring along the line, taking it out just a tad at the outer end of the eye, and then the same thing on the other eye. Just starting with a fairly thick eye line. Then use a blending brush and a back and forth sort of windshield wiper motion. Smudge and blend out that line. You're gonna hear me say the word blend like a thousand times in this video. So this look is all about blending and building color. That's how you get a smoky eye. It requires a degree of patience, but once you get the hang of it, it really doesn't take that long. Then we're going to take a matte black eyeshadow and run that along just the lower half of your eyelid, I would say. Just building some color. Doesn't have to be too clean or neat. It's just going to give you a nice intense shade along the eye line. And then blend that out as well. Back and forth. Working upwards a bit towards the crease. Then we want to add more of the black eyeliner to make our lash line very dark and intense. You can really do this as many times as you want till you get the dark shade that you like. It's all about how intense and smoky you want it to be. I'm going for more of a worn in, sort of slept in smoky eye. And then blend it again. This time taking it up into the crease to get that hazy, smoky look. So blend, blend, blend. And now we're going to take that same eyeliner and trace it along the lower waterline of the eye. So we can get some very dramatic lashes. We're also going to take it along the lower lash line once we've worked it through the waterline. Or in the other order, it's really up to you. You just want to get a Nice, nice dark shade around the lashes. And then blend that as well. Smudge it out. Then go in with some of the black eyeshadow on a small brush and trace that along the lash line as well. It's all about building your dark shade, and then smudging it, smoking it out to get a nice diffused effect. Sorry for the noise out there, there's like a billion cars going by this morning. And then blend that, and as you're going along, take it up into the, the crease of the eye as well. Just for the smoke effect. 
Then take a pressed eyeshadow and a cream shade and dust that along your brow bone. So you have that nice contrast between the smoky eyes and the brow bone. And then blend that, the uh, seams of the cream eyeshadow with the smoky eyeshadow. Then take a mascara, this one's from Ilia, and put that on the top and bottom lashes. You want a pretty dark black mascara to keep with the intensity of the look. You can see my review of this coming up soon, as I said it's from Ilia Beauty. Concealer and a shade that matches your skin tone and clean up any fallout you might have from the dark eyeshadow. And then just use my finger to start blending and then I use just your typical concealer brush to work the rest of that into my skin. Use a contour shade and go just under your cheekbone, sort of going up a little and then around your cheekbone a little bit. And use your finger to blend that in nice so you don't have any harsh lines. Again, I'm sorry for the car noise. Apparently there's something about daylight savings time that makes everybody go to work on time the next day. Same thing on the other side. I'm sticking with the matte colors to go with the smoky matte eyeshadow. Then we're going to take a matte highlighter and then an off-white shade and dust that on the top of the cheekbones, going up just a little bit, and then under the eye a tad. Again, I opted for a matte highlighter. I just think it works with the rest of the matte products that we've used. Then I'm going to use a cream blush, also from Ilia, and put that on the apples of the cheeks and just go up into the cheekbone a little bit. It's going to give us, and then blend with your fingertips. This is a really nice blush. It really gives you a natural flush. It just sort of becomes one with your skin. I wanted to keep the cheeks a little more natural because of the eyes being so full on. Then use a magenta pink lipstick and just put that on your lips. And there you have your finished smoky eyeshadow, worn in, slept in, grunge, smoky eye tutorial. <laughs> Pretty classic and iconic. You can make it stronger. You can make it less intense. I just went for the worn in look. And that pretty much covers my smoky eye tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, I hope you find what you're looking for. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Check out the blog for more details. I will see you next time. Have a great day.